information tonight about the man police said was the intended target of Saturday's mass shooting. Jeremiah Lee was connected to a New Orleans street gang. And while most of the major players of that gang are now in prison, investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein shows how Lee managed to remain on the street. This man, Jeremiah Lee, was described as the intended target of Saturday night's massacre on Claiborne. He also was considered an affiliate of the notorious street gang known as 3NG. I think the fact that someone decided to shoot into a crowd of 10 people that injured seven and killed three speaks to what the reality is regarding gang violence. Lee's rap sheet shows a conviction for possession of marijuana in municipal court in 2009, but three subsequent felony cases were still pending when Lee was gunned down. In the first of those arrests in 2010, police say Lee was dealing cocaine with this man, Alfred Clay, an admitted member of the sprawling 3NG gang, named for their connection to the neighborhood around 3rd and Galvez. Clay is now serving a 15-year prison sentence as a senior member of the gang. That time includes a five-year sentence for the cocaine bust with Lee. But prosecution of Lee has repeatedly been delayed by questions about his mental competency. While that case dragged on, Lee was arrested two more times for distribution of cocaine in 2012 and for discharging a gun during a family dispute in 2015. Lee was scheduled to appear in court on August 15th in each of those three open cases, but whoever was gunning for him made sure he would not be around to answer to the charges. Police Chief Michael Harrison said the two gunmen Saturday were wearing gloves and hoods when they chased Lee into a crowd, first firing indiscriminately, then standing over his body to fire some more. They have elevated uh, their tactics and we are going to make sure that we find them. Lee had been shot once before in 2017, but he survived that attack. In Saturday's fatal ambush, police say they've been getting tips after announcing an increased reward of $25,000, but no breaks in the case have been announced and no suspects have been named. Mike, thank you.